this one type girls birds of prey and those types the gorilla type girls snake type girls mall type girls the wolf type girls the hedgehog type girls swallow type girls the pegasus type girls the phoenix type girls Hey guys and girls on Ask Japanese, it's Kathy Cat. Can you hear the cicadas sing here in Japan? This time we are going to go and talk about 10 types of animal girls that you might find here in Japan. Animal types of girls? What does that mean? You're going to find out any moment. Also, don't forget to check yourself. Be honest. What animal type are you and what animal type might your girlfriend be? So let's go! よろしくお願いします。Number one, Hakuchokei Joshi, the swan type girls. A swan can be swimming on the lake looking all beautiful and pure and elegant. But what happens under the waters? Yes, the little feet go and that is the same for the swan type girls, meaning they look beautiful and perfect on the first view, but actually a lot of effort, a lot of hard work goes for them into having that look and achieving that kind of look around them in a way. Which means they are actually working a lot on finding out about beauty skills, maybe going to beauty salons the way, maybe practice certain poses in the mirror, find out quite a lot of things that the other people will find attractive so in order to look this perfect and elegant the swan type girls put a lot of effort and time into achieving that image that they have so as the saying is rome wasn't built in the day they know that whatever they put out there will require quite a lot of hard work N -E -X -T. number two are the mulking k joshi Moking K means birds of prey and those types of girls, what do you think they are? Now, birds of prey, they will flutter around for a while and then wait until they get the perfect target and then swoop down with a fierce attack. And that's the same for the Moking K Joshi. They first keep back, look at people from afar, but when they find that one partner that they want, that's when they suddenly swoop up, swoop down and snatch that boy. And they're very, very thinking, they're very, very like having a lot of tactics and tactical thinking. And they do not approach everyone. They very much wait till, till they found the perfect guy that matches all their standards and their hit rate is really high, meaning they're prepared then for that way. So they have their skills in set, they know exactly how they're going to get the boy and how they're going to try it and they focus on that. So first of all, they might also be the kind of girls and in a group of girls they're like, I don't really interested in boys and similar things like that. So the other girls might feel safe. But when that girl sees that one boy that she really wants, she's gonna go for him. She's gonna go for him hard. So those are the mocking case. So like falcons, birds, birds of prey. There are several of these animals that you can think of. They also say no aru takawa tsume o kakus, meaning the noble hawk hides their claws. So first of all, you don't even see that they have their claws, but when they need them, they're gonna take them out and they're gonna go in for a fierce attack. <coughs> Number three, Gorilla K Josh, the gorilla type girls. Now, who could the gorilla type girls be? Those girls are generally very strong. Oh, pants mieta ga na. Okay. Those type of girls are usually very strong and muscular and they have a real talent for leadership. They're the ones who are sporty, they're the ones who are out there and they're usually very popular amongst other girls because you want to hang out with them. They take charge, they don't care so much what other people think, they can be very very protective of their friends as well. They live life at their own pace, not according to appealing to a guy or appealing to other people. They have their own ways of enjoying life and working at that. It's the gorilla type girls. They really get things moving. Also though, don't get them angry. Once they get really angry, you really don't want to be on their bad side. Maybe especially when they feel like a need to protect maybe another girl in their sports group or in their groups of friends. The gorilla type girls can get super angry. So you really, really need to up your game to make sure that you get back on the good side with them. Because they, they're strong. 
As an example, for example, it could be girls who go to sport clubs and sport societies and uh, who don't really care what other people think about them, dress slightly differently and just act a little bit more boyish. Snake type girls. Now the snake type girls are very smart, very clever, but they actually shy a little bit away from humans even though they really want to have human warmth. Director, where did you find that one? Why did you suddenly have a snake? <laughs> okay, well, this, oh my gosh. Yeah, so the snake type girls, they are, <laughs> they, they really actually want to have a partner and someone who takes care of them. They really like someone who keeps them warm and happy. But the snake type girls uh, are more the tsundere type, so they won't openly say that they want someone to come and hug them. They're the cool, the classy, the clever ones, but at the same time also they're very, very shy to hang out with people. So they will not openly approach a boy, but they hope more that the boy will approach them and maybe snatch them, give them some warmth. <laughs> Why is there a snake in this park? We're just in a normal Japanese park here right now. It's a girl snake. That's what we're talking about. How did you... How can you sex a snake? What? Ah! So, little snake. Um, how do you like life in Japan so far? So, our director carefully picked you up and he somehow managed to sex you. Um, what, what did that make you feel? And this snake here, uh, there's another thing like, because we obviously, we talk a lot about love life and relationships. Can you share something about love life and relationships with us? I see, thank you so much. Is there anything else you would like to add to uh, the, the, the interview? Mogura ke josh. Mall type girls. The mole type girls are very shy and they're the ones who actually prefer to be indoors rather than outdoors. They're the ones who sit at home but they're actually full of dreams and hopes. So the general otaku girl here in Japan is often described as the Mogura K Joshi, meaning she stays at home, she watches her hobbies and rather than going outside into the sun, she loves being at home but thinking full of dreams of how much she likes the starry sky and similar things like that. Now with a mole, if they, if they don't eat for 12 hours, they die. So same thing for the Mogurake Joshi. If she doesn't have her snacks, she can't live without her snacks. She needs her snacks and those little things to have fun indoors, enjoy her hobbies and keep dreaming about the scary, starry sky. Okami K Joshi, the wolf type girls. Now the wolf type girls are actually something that I did not expect from hearing from wolf type boys. The wolf type girls are a lot more shy. The wolf type girls are kind of the loners. They want to belong to someone. They want to belong to a group or another person. But same thing as with the dog. You can really easily tell their emotions by their wagging tail. With the wolf type girls, you can tell their emotions in their face when they blush, when they get shy and awkward. It's easy to tell. They want to spend time with you and they become a lovely and loyal friend if you let them. If you let them into your life, be sure to give them treats or souvenirs once in a while and they come flocking to you. Don't overdo it though, <laughs> otherwise they'll stay with you for a long time, unless you want that. The wolf type girls at the start are not very good at expressing their love, so it's up to you to read the signs and find out how she feels about you. They're good at research and they're risk takers. They work very hard and try to keep work and private life separate. Hari Nezumi K Joshi, the hedgehog type girls. Now a hedgehog looks spiky and kind of hard to approach from the outside, but actually the hedgehog type girls on the inside are very soft and sweet. Hedgehog type girls are known to be the ones who are very hardworking. They work hard, they eat hard, they sleep hard, meaning they work really well. They actually snack quite a lot, but they also sleep well at night. They are very, very independent, which means they go where they want to go, they eat what they want to eat, and they do what they want to do. They kind of are okay by themselves, but 
if you happen to put something in front of them, maybe some good food, their eyes will all get very sparkly and cute. So those are the hedgehog type girls. Because the hedgehog type girls are so cute, they're fun to hang out with and just look at them. They look cute when they eat, they look cute when they do other things, they look cute when they sleep. But don't forget there are also some spikes there. In their heart of hearts, what they actually want to do is be close to other people, but they have a very strong temperament and they might sometimes end up hurting other people more with the little spikes that they have. They sometimes don't mean to and some people from afar think, oh, they're mean, but inside they're actually just very, very soft and maybe a little bit insecure. But once you come close to them, they might let their spikes and their guard down and then you can see them for what they really are. Yes, I was here. Tsubame ke joshi, swallow type girls. Now those girls are very organized. If there is work to get done, they go out and get it done straight away. There's no waiting for a round for them. They know their tasks and they do their tasks precisely and on point and they think they're also enjoying it. Just like a swallow takes a lot of time and proper consideration before they build a nest, this is how they build their life. Their structures, they think ahead, they plan their life. And once they build a family, same thing happens. They're gonna be the rulers of the house. They're really organized and keep everything in check and running. However, if sometimes something does not work out for them, any plan that they have goes wrong, it takes them some really harsh time to recover from that. They struggle with that. They need to be in charge of things. Yet, though, if they have a task, and it's just right in front of them, they might just disappear for a while, get it sorted, and then come back. They're the very, very organized ones, the swallow type girls. They're honest, earnest, straightforward, really like getting things done on the point. And sometimes it might be a bit tough on their other friends because they sometimes also don't understand while the other people don't act as much as they do. But they're honest, loyal, really love helping out their friends and protecting their friends. They also love being in charge of stuff. The Pegasus K Joshi, the Pegasus type girls. Now these ones are very similar to the unicorn type girls. They like beautiful things, they like sparkly things, and most of all, they like different things. So they're very unique, they stand out a lot. Some people might think they're strange because they're so different from the norm, but they're actually really good people. Now with the unicorn type girls and the Pegasus type girls too, they actually really love their freedom. They want to be unique, they want to be different and they appreciate that. So you need to also give them their freedom from time to time. One problem is though, because they like all these shiny sparkly things, they tend to be very naive and you know, they're scared of getting fooled by other people. So they put up some barriers and are actually trying to hide behind those. So little by little, you need to learn how to break them down and so they will let you into their hearts. The Phoenix type girls. Those girls are very noble, very fair and very special. They're the queens out there, but you do not want to anger them because them girls, damn, if you make them angry, they can burn everything around them. Those queens know what they're doing, have really clear plans in life. And they're also the ones, if they fail, if they struggle, if they burn, they come back out of all of their problems even stronger. That's one thing that those are usually the types of girls that you admire. The, how did she do this? How did she do that? They just manage to pull off a lot of magical things. They can do sports, they can do science, they can do many things at once and you just wonder how, how one person can achieve so much in their life already. Those are the Phoenix type girls. Those were 10 animal types of Japanese girls that you can find here in Japan. Now we found this online and some of them I'm like, huh, I see a friend of mine in there or I see myself in that, which was actually kind of fun when we were finding out about those. How about you? Did you find yourself in there or did you find your best friend, your buddy or your girlfriend in there? Let us know in the comments down below. I hope you enjoyed this. There's more of this stuff coming up on our channel. So don't forget to subscribe. 
we'd love to have you on our team here on Ask Japanese coming from Japan out to you. Also, don't forget, give us a big like so more people can find this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you soon. I'm weird, and I? <laughs>